At the Santa Clara County Registrar's Office, ballots are still being processed and counted. While every state does things a little differently, mail-in ballots are basically handled the same way, and it takes some time. Everyone thinks that it's a fast process, just throw the ballots into the machine and it's done. But no, there's a lot of uh, you know, background stuff that goes on. In California, ballots can continue to be accepted by mail for 17 days after Election Day, so long as they were postmarked on Election Day. That's what these workers are handling now. A ballot first has to be taken out of its envelope and flattened. Then it goes to a signature reading machine, and it gets sorted by precinct. Then it gets tabulated, and if there are any discrepancies, elections workers go over the ballot to figure out the issue. It can be stressful, so workers here have kind words for their counterparts in battleground states. I just want to thank them because I know how hard it is and, you know, the big responsibility that is for all of us. In Pennsylvania, elections workers are on extended shifts to get through thousands of ballots. Do you know how late you're going to work this evening? You know? I don't. We originally scheduled people to work 9 to 9 today, but there's a sense that we may go over that. And there's concern in Philadelphia after two men from Virginia drove to the city and began walking around the convention center where votes are being counted. Both men were armed and they had an assault style rifle in their Hummer. They've been arrested on weapons charges. In Atlanta, a Fulton County elections worker has gone into hiding after someone posted a video purporting to show him destroying a ballot. Personally, I think it's shameful. He. Um... He was merely discarding a list of instructions. Those incidents ratchet up the stress levels that elections workers across the country are already under. Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.